focus of Seeding Futures is to help learners find their strengths and where they fit in the world, what they can do in the world, linking to green employment opportunities, while strengthening climate resilience. Um, I'm from Mitchell's Plain, born and bred. I haven't left too much, so that was kind of my way into this course. Just being in the environment, seeing some of the social issues around me and then coming across permaculture and, and some solutions that we can actually apply like right here, right now. Permaculture is a resilience design methodology and what I like about it is it's optimistic. So it's planning despite all the chaos and the negativity, we've still got something that we can design that can set us up to thrive. Um, we've still got positive action we can take. I'm very, very inspired by working with students and seeing their personal transformation, their sense of self-empowerment developing, their sense of revolution being sparked. To, to find answers like what can we do, okay, food security, that will, that will empower people, okay, saving seed. So finding these ways, power can be put back into people, into their hands, that to me is the biggest inspiration from what I'm getting. So that first course which we did, which is called the APT or Applied Permaculture Training, which is a fully accredited, internationally accredited course in permaculture, uh, was life changing. We had three weeks of um, intensive APT work, so that was just fantastic because it was mentally stimulating like every single day. We've learned that permaculture is not just gardening, it's social, it's economic, it's environmental, it's basically every sphere of life. And then it goes into like household resilience. How do you turn your home into a sustainable, resilient system? And then it drills down into neighborhood resilience models, where, where their local people support it to grow food for the neighborhoods, where the water is recycled within the neighborhoods, where streets are festooned with food growing species everywhere, where people are out from behind their walls talking to each other in the streets. So the students then have an opportunity to take what the skills that they've learned and incorporate it into a small enterprise. Like right after our course actually Josh and I started a company called Gorilla House which does urban permaculture training in Cape Town um, and see it we've been collaborating with them over the past year. Last year there was an opportunity for me to step into the manager of the Food Freedom Project which was also exciting because I had come from being a student on that course and that process to being a member of the Food Freedom Project to having then being able to manage that process uh, for a whole year. And then I also sustained myself and my family through facilitation and started a small enterprise manufacturing biodegradable cleansers, handmade goods, uh, pure cosmetics. Moving forward, um, I think what I want to do, there's an organization in Johannesburg. They're doing rooftop gardening. So I want to get into that, see that. Also, I want to be able to teach people how to use unused land. By doing this course, um, it's changed my life. I know it will change someone else's life. There's a meme out here by seed that says one seed starts a forest. Now, if one person has to go out and just implement what he learned here throughout our course, then we'll be able to, to make the world a more better place. Like I would call seed like a pollinator, because seed produces those kind of people that are needed to change their spaces and their communities. <laughs>